Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter one, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So this wants us to write the number in two other forms. So we have standard form, which is just the regular way that you would write a number, okay? And then we have expanded form, which is breaking that number apart like this one, uh, like number three, um, or we can write it in words the way that number one is written. So those are our three ways, it's actually giving you an example of each one in one of these examples. So we're gonna go ahead and do number two. So we are going to write it first in expanded form. So I have 300,000. The three is in the hundred thousandths place. Plus the one is in the ten thousandths place. Plus the four is in the thousandths place plus a two in the hundredths place. There is no number in the tens place, so we don't have to worry about that. We only have to do the seven, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and write it in word form since it shows standard and we just did expanded. So we're gonna write it in word. So we're gonna say 300 and 14,000 Two hundred and seven. Okay, that is exactly what you need to do for number three. So I'm going to let you do that. Okay, you are going to have to write this one in standard form, which is just like this guy, and in word form, which is just like this guy. Okay, so go ahead and do that. We're going to go down to number four. Number four says to write the name of the period that has the digits nine, one, three. So that's these guys up here. Those are the thousands. Thousands, okay? Okay, write the digit in the 10 thousandths place. That's this guy. That's going to be the one, okay? You guys go ahead and write the value of the digit nine. You guys can totally do that. We're gonna go down to number seven. Number seven says, which state had a population of 804,194? Well, there's only one of them that had those numbers, 804,194. So we're gonna write SD for South Dakota, okay? What is the value of the digit eight in Alaska's population? Well, Alaska's population's here, so that's our digit eight right there. So we're going to drop down that eight, and then we have one, two, three, four numbers behind that, so we're gonna make one, two, three, four zeros. That is 80,000. Okay, we're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go ahead and do this borrow review. It's important to remember everything that we learned before this. An ant has six legs. How many legs do eight ants have? Six legs on each ant. There's eight ants. How many do they have? Well, six times eight is 48. And make sure that we label word problem, word answer. All right, guys. Number four, Latricia's vacation is in four weeks. There are seven days in a week. How many days until Latricia's vacation? So, four weeks. There's seven days in each week. Seven times four is 28. So 28 days. Again, word problem, word answer. You make sure you label it, okay? Marta collects 600 and, or sorry, 363 cans. Diego collected 295 cans. How many cans did Marta and Diego collect? So 363 plus 295. And whatever that answer is, we're gonna make sure that we label it cans. Who wants to know how many cans? Three plus five is eight. Six plus nine is 15, five down, carry the one, 
One plus three is four, plus two more is six. 658 cans, okay? The city Tim lives in has 106,534 people. What is the value of the six? So we're gonna drop the six down, and then there are one, two, three numbers after it. Those become zeros, 6,000 people. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.2. Come on back for 1.3. See you soon.